rash of car break-ins overnight in the Reynolds community has victims worried about identity theft. Some of the items that were stolen contain personal information. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live from the Woodfield condo complex. Did thieves target specific cars? That's right. Every single car, every single one of the nine cars that were broken into all had their doors unlocked. It made it easy for thieves to get right on in, go into the glove box, steal checkbooks, credit cards, driver's licenses, everything that thieves can use to steal identities. So about 6.30 this morning, I heard my sister yelling in the house. Just before sunrise, a thief, thanks to an unlocked passenger door, got right in. And she says, oh my gosh, my car was broken into. The crook made a beeline for the glove box. Sherry Rambin's sister's car, one of nine cars hit. Took their registration, checkbooks. And other forms of identification thieves could use to commit identity theft. Crooks going down three rows of condos. So your neighbor comes over and she says to you, the car, your car is unlocked. And then you had your person here. Marissa Oxner realizes leaving it on the floorboard was a mistake. All these cards were thrown everywhere. And I had $175 in cash, and it's gone. Thieves also went in Harrison Bowman's car. Saw the door like it was, partially open. Glove compartment open, center console open, everything pulled out. In every case, thieves left doors closed but cracked open like this, perhaps so no one would hear them shut. Another victim, a retired nurse, had her garage door open or stolen between 3 and 5 a.m. That, of course, leaving her vulnerable to the thieves getting right in her house and actually lifted the garage and unfortunately she didn't have her door locked but it was a miracle that they didn't go into her house. The cars that were locked in the community were not touched. And that complex president Steve Kaletnik wants known. Harrison asked one thing from Buncombe detectives. Investigate, find out who did it. I'll never leave my pocketbook in the car again. I will always lock my car and it's um, it's tough. Marissa, the woman who had left her purse in the car, had had a very hectic day. She had several children who were sick that day, and of course she regrets leaving it in the car, but a lot of people make mistakes, and then they have to learn a hard lesson. Another interesting thing that she said, she had an extra set of keys in the car. The thieves, for some reason, took those extra set of keys and placed it on the bumper of her car. If you have any information, witnesses out here saw a dark Ford, a black Ford truck possibly, please call Buncombe County Sheriff's. Reporting live, Kimberly King, News 13.